Every true football manager starts his new venture by checking out the free agent list. There may be hundreds and hundreds of players to choose from and staring at that screen while scrolling down slowly may make you feel a little bit blind, but finding a player who suits your club that you can sign for little to no cost, well that's a true feeling of ecstasy. Ecstasy? Jeez, get a life. Make football manager videos for you. So here you have it. Whether you started with Manchester United or Leighton Orient, these players would have caught your eye. 10 free agents you always signed on Football Manager 2015. Number 10 is a player who few believed was actually a free agent in real life, Victor Valdez. The Barca stopper has one of the largest trophy hauls of any player from any generation in football and here he is, a free agent at 32 years old. He's also still one of the best goalies on the game with only 6 other keepers boasting the same technical traits and leadership attributes. Yeah, go get yourself some Valdez. Obviously not if you're actually late in Orient those. Next on the list is centre-back Diego Lugano. He's 33 and somewhat ageing quickly with just 8 and 7 for pace and acceleration. For the championship though, or perhaps a Premier League relegation favourite, his leadership, strength, bravery and aggression is all 19 plus. Yeah, it will slot in nicely next to Wes Brown and John O'Shea. Eight on the list is a player with 44 international caps, but it must have been some tough times for France back then. Alou Diara isn't exactly the first name jotted down to your shortlist, but you're missing the point, he's free. Offer him a trial, smash him through two games per week in pre-season and try to rekindle some of the form from a player who hasn't played more than 12 games in a season for three years. 7. Simao On other Football Manager games and even back to the old Championship Manager franchise, Simao was one of the best wingers in Europe. He's 34 on FM15, but that doesn't change the fact he's still Simao. A brilliant player for the championship, no doubt. And having started with Mallorca, there was one reason to this, by the way. Look at that, an 18-year-old Marco Asensio at our disposal in Liga Adelante. Whoosh. Well, anyway, as our scout reported, Shamal would be a decent signing, bringing plenty of professionalism, intelligence, versatility, and you know what? I may just make him Asensio's tutor. 6. Jamie O'Hara Perhaps you're a Jamie O'Hara fanatic, or maybe you've been signing him on a free since FM12, never giving up hope that he can find the form that made him a Premier League hot prospect in 2009 with Tottenham. Well, in real life he plays for Billericay Town and is much more of a Z-list reality TV star than he is a footballer. Three unlikely celebrity couples are faking their relationship. We'll make them do everything. Post your sexiest selfie. Oh dear, maybe let's just, yeah. Not signing. Next on our list is a player you are bound to have thought about signing, even if it's just because you know it will cause an absolute <laughs> storm. El has Juf. Juf is 33, he's fairly slow, but that won't stop him spitting in someone's face during a derby. What more could you want from a free transfer? See? Rotherham are interested. Next up, Andrei Voronin. So if you're Liverpool, yeah, you're probably not going to sign him. But for anyone else who wants some prime Ukraine international experience, the ponytailed hitman must be able to score some goals in League One or somewhere like that. Final three and we're at Fran Morita. Now most people on this free agent list are showing some sort of decline in stats, but Fran is just 24 years old and showing a lot of potential. 14 for dribbling, 15 for passing, first touch and flair. An ex-Arsenal youth, you automatically expect Morita to be good enough technically, but clearly something hasn't quite been right for the Spanish attacking midfielder, having barely found a starting lineup in many a year. In reality, he's part of the Osasuna side in Spain's second tier, so we will definitely be inviting him into our Mallorca training camp for a kickabout. I can tell the fans we actually boast a World Cup winner albeit from the under-17s. Fans of FM11 will be familiar with this next name, Sorteris Ninis. Well, that's if I'm pronouncing it right. On the previous Football Manager edition, Ninis was described as the Greek Messi. Playing in any attacking role off the strikers, Ninis developed into a world beater with Panathinaikos. In reality, he was good for one season, went to Belgium and now plays in Israel. But that doesn't mean you can't unlock his potential on FM. He's only 24 and on the game, still an international. Ooh. Finally then, saving the best until last, or at least the biggest, we have Nikola Zidic. A player who has cost over 20 million over his career, and with the same number of international goals, you'd be expecting that Zidic is around 37 on the game? In fact, he's still a spring chicken at 33. You've definitely thought about signing Zidic as a backup striker. 
the massive lump of pure Serbian target man will do the job of holding up the ball pretty much at any club in any division. Chuck him on in the Champions League final when you're 1-0 up if you fancy, Nikola will do the job. He's 202 centimetres, 96 kilos and has the same sort of stats as Didier Drogba, Ibrahimovic and Fernando Lorente. Be wary though, his heading is only 11. So that about does it for our list of free agents on Football Manager 2015. We hope it brings up lots of memories for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to HITC Top Corner. And please feel free to leave a comment telling us all about the best free agent you have ever signed.